Hello my YouTube guys. Um, today I'm gonna show you a video that I'm I'm doing a little like an invention. I don't think this is this is done before. I don't think so. But um, I'm trying to do something a little different. Um, I find out I find a uh, 2020, 2019, and 20. Uh, TDI transmission. This is a six gear transmission, but um, it will bolt straight into the four cylinder uh, engine, TDI engine, or gasoline, because it's, it's almost exactly like the O2J. This is called it O2S, but not a regular, regular O2S like the Mark 5 or Mark 6. This one came on the Mark 7s and uh, on the 1.4 liter diesel, six I mean six speed. So we can use that and bolt it into our uh, TDIs. Uh, I have been told that the shift there is a little bit off, but you can get it, you can get it to work or swap a O2J case completely just take all the guts out of this new transmission put them into the old case because and it doesn't have the the TDC the the top dead, dead center uh, mark on the flywheel and it doesn't have the speed sensor because the newer ones use like an ABS sensor on the wheel something so um, that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. I got my hands into a O2S transmission. So we wanna try to put this um, uh, gut into a uh, O2J case. So I'm gonna be tearing it up uh, one of my old transmission that I got it laying around. And um, I don't know, we will see if this one works. So, so stay this tuned. is pr pretty close to see, uh, the gear ratio. Um, of what I have right now on my um, diesel, my TDI diesel. Um, I know I have a, a, a H, uh, EHU or something, EUH, something like that, engine code. So I'm gonna transfer into my uh, O2J case. I know this, this one looks very, very rough. But what we're looking for is Top dead center for the uh, flywheel and speed sensor hole. The new one doesn't come with the speed sense since uh, with the speed sensor hole and the top dead center. We probably can cut here and get um, get the top dead center, but about this, it's a little bit uh, out of the line. But we're gonna put this gut from this transmission inside of that. So obviously I'm gonna clean it, right? <laughs> so um, it's pretty much the same inside. It's pretty much the same. It's, uh, it's I don't know, it's like uh, weird, huh? How can, how can this transmission <laughs> has like exact the same thing as a 2001, 2002, 1999, Mark 3, VR6, everything from inside. <laughs> it bolts into this, or this bolts into that. Also had the um, the same uh, uh, axle cups. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna get this internal parts and put them on that one. So hopefully, uh, look the drain. This is the only thing I see different. It has this thing, I don't know. But, uh, and this right here. And it has the thing to hold that. Uh, I don't know on the bottom, let me see. Yes, got the same thing. Look, the Volkswagen emblem and it has this extra bolt in there. I don't know, we will see. How are we making out with this one? So stay tuned so my guys, guys, for this video. I already got all the bolts loose out of this transmission. Um, you guys gonna have to have like a press, like a tractor, 
tool to pull this uh, fifth gear. This one sometimes is easy, sometimes not, not as easy. But you need the extraction tool to pull the fifth gear out of the O2J. I don't know about that one yet, but I got some uh, stuff, remove it. I got the shifter, remove it. And I got the, um, the bottom, the bottom, uh, you see? Bottom cover, remove it. The cups, the axle cups. So far it looks identical. Again, I'm not sure about this. You know, I'm not sure. But what I'm sure is that that transmission will bolt into the four cylinder because it looks uh, identical. Just not, it doesn't have the speed sensor. And the, I, I hear about the shifter tower is not the same and about the, um, uh, what's it called the uh, top dead center hole is not there. You see, there's nothing here. So um, this is a uh, first try. So see this is what works. I found so far. Um, there's, it's not the shifter. The one is not fitting right or slightly off. It's not a shifter. The shifter, it fits the same one. Uh, this one is from a Mark IV and it's working perf perfectly fine. Um, I don't know about this locking bow, honestly. But I will find out until I open this. But so far, this is working. So I see what I, the difference I see is this, this, and this. On the other one, this is higher, like an uh, inch and a half higher, this uh, pivot point. So it kind of level with this, this too, but it's lower right now. So I find out you might be able to put like a spacer, longer bolt, and it might fit. So we might be using this uh, uh, rear case. So this is what I'm talking about, you see? This, this is taller, the other one is down here. About this, um, this hole, same. So it's, um, let's go, look, this is taller. See how taller it is? This one, that one. So we might be able, you see right here? Remember that hole on the, on the other one? This is below this one, this bolt. And the other one is, on the top so we might gonna have to put like two two um you know spacers or something but here here we go so i'm gonna have to open it up open this up and see um uh, okay see so i got the, the five bolts right here remove it from the cap so i'm trying to see if this cap will fit into the old uh casing so let's see how Volkswagen did this. Okay, so it's out. It's got the oil, oil um, fittings in there. Oil ports, that's pretty good. Here's the uh, sixth gear. I mean, actually this is the fifth gear. That's the sixth gear in the inside. So outside is fifth, inside is uh, six. So, so far, nothing, you know, nothing out of the usual. So they use this type of uh, tool to remove it. Good thing I have there. I hope they are not really tight, hopefully. Okay, so now let's try this cap into the older case. Oh wow, it fits perfectly fine. All the bolts match. It's pretty cool. Because originally it will be this cover in there and that's how it looked with the with that cap in there. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, so let's keep let's keep going digging and 
and deep. <laughs> this is where the screw bolts. The, the screw, I, I'm sorry for the camera. These LED lights don't like my camera. But that hole in there is for this uh, part in there. I don't know how it works, but it was bolted in there. Oopsie. It was bolted in there like this. Actually, it might not be that one. There's something else then. Never mind on that one then. Never mind on this one. This is something else. No. Oh, that's probably reverse or like an oil feeding, feed, whatever. Oh, there it is. Never mind. No, so forget about that one. <laughs> so we good then. That bolt is maybe to hold the case on the inside. Another thing that I find out is this, the old one that fits the the big uh, shaft like this one is uh, bigger than the than the one it came on the transmission. And it looks like Volkswagen put like a bushing in there, but this is smaller, it's smaller in diameter or size. You can see the difference. One is smaller, one is uh, it's bigger. But since, since we can use the same shifter, same shifter they came with, so we don't have to worry about uh, putting that one. But you can if you want to, I had them in there. You only need to um, machine, machine this bottom bottom lip. That's it, because it goes all the way in. You will see, it goes all the way in, see? Just that bottom um, lip, it's not passing through. So if you got a, a machine or whatever, you can just machine it down, same size as this, and it will work. Because I had them in there and the shifter is there so it's just holding the shifter together i'm sorry so let's keep going oh my goodness guys this thing was so hard to remove those uh fifth and sixth gear that are attached to these two uh spline wow they are super hard to remove i have to use a torch heat them up this thing like crazy this is how it goes. This, this is how it goes, like that. But, wow! Have to use um, some kind of like, um, here it is. I invented this out of two or three uh, uh, pullers. I got them out. Some parts came out of that kit. Some came out of uh, this new kit that is there, and some were um, already, um, I have already, you know, like a used ones. So I put it together this way. I, I added this extension because it was not long enough and I cannot find like a long enough for like, like pry this thing. Very careful because this, if you set them up wrong, those clamp or like, Gars or whatever you want to call that hook will damage the the tooth on the gear. Like if it goes bad like here, it will just crack that the tooth. So you gotta make sure it's like nice and tight, you know, like bite, like nice bite inside there. So you don't crack the the or, or broke the tooth on the gear. But man, that was like unbelievable. So I still got them over there on the on the oil, like getting like, you know, forge. <laughs> I use the torch too. But finally, the transmission case is open and I got to see what was different. I do like this, guys. Uh, let me see. This, oh, wow, this is still hot. <laughs> it scared me. This is what I was, um, let's put them right here on the, on the other one. Let me see. Nope, that's not the right way. Hold on, it's this way. So this is where this um, shaft will go. So it sits like like on his house. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna watch this pretty nice. Like, I mean, decent clean, you know? And um, another thing that I have to do is this uh, differential did not come with the, with the uh, speed sensor gear. 
So it's it's there. I mean, it's, it's got the notch, so you can put a um, a gear in there. So so it moves the the uh, what's it called the uh, speed sensor. But this one, it has the gear for the speed sensor right here. So we're gonna have to pull this bearing. That one is easy because it doesn't have the gear in there. So I, I got plenty of room to bite with the, you know, with the uh, clamps. But this one, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this one. And plus it's old, so I'm not worried about that one. I'm gonna count the two on this and count the two on this one too, and see which ones, uh, which one is longer or shorter so I can keep the, the uh, longer one. So that is different. And something else with the reverse gear. I, I saw this uh, difference. I don't know if you guys can see, but look. On the bottom, they are the same. Let me see. Let me see if I can put them, like, right here. So you guys can see, like, they are the same on the bottom. But on the top, you can see same, same uh, length, same uh, size and everything. But the only thing is this is shorter on this uh washer whatever or this is longer and that's shorter that's the only difference but they are the same size same exact size besides this thing um you probably can spacer this to match that one or just use uh the the whole um the whole uh shaft from the other one since i'm gonna be using that one and that one together so i guess that's longer so it doesn't pop out so we will see if the reverse uh the reverse uh works good with this i'm just gonna leave this one because it's cleaner and um uh, but th that's the only difference so so stay tuned guys uh this uh project project is like wow unbelievable I, I didn't know <laughs> you guys can do this so let me put this in here this is the gear from from the other reverse i mean the other transmission and it looks like it goes in there but i don't know about the spacer right here remember so maybe this shaft is good since i'm gonna use the original case i mean crown and the half of the other new case so we will see because uh this one looks to be longer and the other one shorter so um i'm gonna see uh, be because i do like the new gears and everything the, the new shiny metal you know so we will see guys uh, stay tuned because this is uh, as far as i'm I'm, I'm, I'm Guys, as far um, as I am right now. I had a, a little a problem with the shaft. One of the um, the shaft, uh, I mean, the, the shaft I want to use with the six gear long shaft. It has this bearing that is like a little, like 1,000 millimeter over of the other one. So oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna start this car. And tell you guys the um wanted to show you. Oh wow, that thing is melt. Nice and warm. But yeah, like I was telling you. This shaft right here came with um, one millimeter uh, or 1,000 millimeter, whatever, over. So I had to put the old one in there. So I had to melt this down, 1,000 down, remove the original one from the new transmission and put the, the other one. Look how much. So now we're going back. I came to my friend's uh, shop. He's got like a little um, lathe. 
a little late. So um, we put that shaft in there and we had removed 1,000, um, well, how do you call One millimeter or like a thousand, I don't even know. I mean, I don't care. The thing is, I I got that done. So um, stay tuned because I'm gonna, um, I think I saw his truck somewhere. Oh, it's over here. So we're gonna um, get out of here. So, okay, amigos. Stay tuned. My friends, <laughs> I've been um, working on this. Um, it's been, I think, two days since I've been, like, you know, um, working on it. So it's been hard. It's not that easy. Uh, once I figure out all the little details that, that I need to, you know, to get, like, fixed, for you guys will be easy for me that i'm doing it for very first time because i i haven't seen this online on everywhere i haven't seen it so here's where i'm at right now so i'm so, gonna explain like i was saying these two parts right here are the case for the 2020 transmission that case is the only one i'm i'm using to marry that case with the newer case, the old one with the new one. That's an O2J, O2S. So here's what I'm, I have found so far. Um, the first thing I find out is that this bearing, the one it carries, the this pinion, is bigger. You see this? That's where it's supposed to go from the other one. And look, it's not. And what I what I what I see the Volkswagen did they bore this hole right here all the way down, even get rid of this nice uh, quarter inch lip all all the way around. And man, they thinner the newer cases. Like let's say that case is way thinner than this. So let me remove this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Put this over here and this over here. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean everything. So let's put these two cases together. And um, this is like 2002 O2J or 2000, 1999, whatever, O2J transmission. This is a 2020, same exact thing. This uh, starter use that kind of style, so that's kind of different. And this pin right here, it's higher this pin is, is lower you guys can see so that is different and um like i said before no uh td so top dead center no uh speedometer speedometer right here you see nothing in here so that's why i'm swapping just this crown for this one but I found out, I find out that Volkswagen, you know, bore this thing way too much. Like, like way like over, like you can see this is like sticking out. And you can see this one, it's not sticking out. It's got plenty meat in there. So I go ahead and, um, and stole, stole a bearing. I stole a bearing out of this and I measure the size and um, let me measure it real quick so you guys know raise it and let me uh, put them like this okay so it's like 29 I think hold on so here is a uh, the measure sorry for the led so 29 29 and this one the new one it's not 29 so that was my first problem i found out so let me measure 
reset it and let's go now there's no way that this is you see ah i hate that oh i forgot that's why it's um this is i grew um i took it to the machine shop and we um th this was 30 millimeter that was 29 millimeter so i bored this thing or or grind it down to 29 millimeter so it can take this bearing out of here to put them in here because the original one which it was this one it was here it, it was not fitting into this case so i don't want to bore this case to put this bearing i mean the the, the original bearing so what i did i was just like um bore this um shaft down 1000 one mil or whatever and uh i was able to put the volkswagen original bearing from the o2j into the o2s shaft came out good and uh that way if anything happens i can just replace the bearing stock o2j but th there was another problem i had to I don't know if you guys can see, but look, I had to pull like a like a little tiny washer here because this bottom end sits uh, higher. That bottom end sits uh, lower. So when I put this here, perfect. When I put this here, sticking out a little. So what I did, I was just, um, I just um, put like a, like a little washer in there so it's sticking out a little so now it's good that is good so that is good so far and uh, another thing um i thought about the reverse it might not work but it works like i showed you guys before the the shaft over there it's not the same size on the on this part but it's is um same link same size everything just this is, is thicker i mean this washer whatever it's got double so i put this one you know it, everything fits i put the case in here put the uh the case this one right here everything fits so so far this is good and i'll show you guys remember i i had to put this uh washer in there a little tiny washer you know before the the seal Every single one has uh, one washer. So I want to document this for you guys. Because this, um, this, this case, uh, is the, the ring is sitting up a little. So you might be able to pull the, 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 the ring for, for the bearing, bore it out a little, and, I mean, bore it down a little, and press it down farther. So that way, it's, man, it's like, it's a real, real thin, thin um, washer. Let me see if I can show you uh, with the, here you go. Let me see if I can show you real quick. And we try to measure this washer. Zero this thing. And let me see. Man, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, it's, it's 0.5. Yeah, 0.5 uh, millimeter washer. So that will help you. It's a 0.5. I, I cannot get it like good, but it's it's a 0.5. Yeah, there you go. So 0.5 millimeter washer. And remember, that is the one that will work on you. Um, you might, you might gonna have to, um, since this is gonna be sticking up a little, on this case over here, this will be fine, no problem, no pressure or nothing, because it just goes here. But on the other one, this will, this will stay a little bit loose, so you just knock this ring down, so the other, the other shaft, it will be nice and tight. So it will be, it will be good. So that's the newer case with the bottom end, the, the O2J with the O2S. And see, 
this one has to be knocked down a little. I mean, a little bit so it get tighter on on the, on that shaft over there. So it gets tighter on that bearing. So that being said, in here, I have to destroy two of this. Um, I have a lot of transmission, guys. So that's why I got plenty to play around, you know, like. So I destroyed one one bearing because I thought that that thing it was sticking out. It was because the bearing, but now it wasn't the bearing. Uh, the bearing was fine. Remember, I bore the shaft down, put this bearing in there, and uh, lifted the shaft, the whole pinion thing. And um, that being said, uh, next step, I pull, I pull one of this, uh, one of this bearing out, of, out of this uh, differential, so I can get the, um, the 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 gear for the speedometer. Because we need this. The new one doesn't come with the speedometer. Why I got two now? Because I messed up this again. I didn't know. I, I, I grind this too much and it was not, and it was like too loose on in here. So we don't want it to be too loose like that. See, I, I messed that one up. So uh, this no good. But this one, I, I took my time grinding it like real nice and uh, now it fits perfect in there. This is the bearing that goes there. So that's a um, 61 tooth ring and 18 tooth on, on this pinion right here. 18 and 61 is... Um, 3.36 or 3.38 final ratio that's pretty good so so far guys now i need to clean that so i explain you guys what happened remember the first problem i had it was this too big so pull that the bearing out bore the shaft that it goes here to 1000 so it's 29 millimeter this is 30 um then uh the problem with the with the shaft uh thing i had to put like a spacer here 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 and in, in there i already show you then press this this ring down a little bit tighter you know to get tighter and then pull from an old transmission the gear the speed sensor because that one doesn't come with this uh gear sensor or whatever and then I grind it with a with the with the drill with this drill and a bit. I grind it carefully, and that's that's, that's what we at right now. So I want to document this for the future, maybe for myself. I grind this, and um, now it's good. So the the differential already has the two notches. I didn't know it's got like a poor number there. And um, so far, I, I just need to clean, put it back together. So here it is. So stay um, tuned. Install it, the, the speed sensor. And uh, we already got the, the differential with the gear in there. So let's see if it spins. So that's what we want. Another ni nice thing that I like to show is this uh, channel. This channel that it travels, uh, sends the oil from the differential, sends the oil through here, all the way to the fifth gear outside on the sixth gear. You can see right, right here, it's where the oil comes out. You see, I burned it a little bit with the with the torch but this is how the oil travels from up here all the way out to the sixth gear that's pretty nice upgrade so next day um update i try to put the 
shifter bracket and <laughs> it's not what I was thinking. I only thought it would, it would be just a higher, you know, point, and I thought it would be on the same spot, but no, it's higher, this much higher, like two inches. Plus, it's not on the on the same in the same position, so it's like right in the corner of the bolt, so. Um, I do like this case because it has the name and everything for the transmission, but I don't know. I mean, this is just for the shifter, so it's not, it won't be that hard. I don't think it will need too much. I don't know, but I'll, I'm going to try to make a bracket, you know, just leave it like that because I already put it together, but I, I believe, um, I mean, this case, the only difference is the re reverse that is holding in two points, actually three points, one here, one there, and one on the bottom, the reverse. But you can fully swap it, the internals on the O2J. As far as what I can see, this case doesn't matter. I mean, you can take that out and use the other reverse uh, uh, shaft if you're gonna use the other one. But if you're gonna use this one, you can just use the shaft that it came with this. I like it that way, but um, good thing I haven't even put those. So I still got time to decide if if I wanted to do a correct, you know, here, just forget about the name and maybe use the Mark IV shifter too. So we will see. Hello, hello, amigos. Just wanna show you guys what I'm doing right now. I changed my mind. As you see in the video, I changed my mind. So, um, but anyway, like I was saying, I changed my mind, as you can see. Um, I used the old case. I'm gonna use everything because I don't want to deal with the shifter thing. So I like this one because it has like the, it has this, this uh, channel, the differential sends oil to the sixth gear or fifth gear or fifth and sixth gear all the way on, on outside here through this channel. But all what it is, is a hole. They just drill a hole and put this one in there. So I already started right here. So I thought about just, you know, do it with you guys right here. So here goes nothing. Hopefully I got him in the right spot. I know I should not drill it right on top, but I mean, this is it's open, so I can just like remove it real quick. And that's it, I can blow air into, into that. That was it. So, this, um, this case already has the notch to put this um, right here, this notch right here, that's where this one hooks. So it's not that hard. So that's all we have to do. There you go. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm, um, hopefully I didn't, you know, that's how they, uh, 
they want it to be. So it's there right now. So bear with me because I'm just doing this. I don't want to deal with the shifter thing. So plus I'm going to use the Mark IV uh, shifter tower. Guys, I uh, have problem over problem. In that case, I remove it. It was fine, it was bolted into here, but I didn't like it because I have to do with the shifter. That shifter bracket, I don't wanna do like a, I don't wanna do like a um, bracket, you know? So I start working on that one. There was a problem with this. The, the hole was not big enough like that one. So I started like um, grinding that hole to make it a little bigger, still not work. So I took it apart, that select, uh, shifter selector. And now I'm dealing with this. Uh, so I'm thinking, uh, hold on. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna remove the tip and use the, the old one if it works. That would be awesome. But just the tip, because it's the same exact length. The only thing it changes is this on the top. So man, I had to tear it up, put it back together, tear it up, put it back together. So like, I, oh, wow, I like crazy. swapped that little tip piece from the new one to the old one. As you can see, it looks the same exact part. So I just put them in the same position. That's the only thing different in, inside, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna try and see what's up. I'm gonna put them on, on My this, friends, the, the old one. I got this all back together. I put the uh, sixth gear and the fifth gear, or oh, I mean the fifth gear and the sixth gear, um, everything. Looks like a, like it work, works like a shoe. <laughs> Neutral. Oh, it's a little, little tight right here because I need, I need to use the other. But there it is. There is um. I just need to put the, the uh, case. You know the the. The, the cap. Together. And it will be fine. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it's, it's a quite, it's quite um, a little bit of a job. Same uh, axle cups. I did put the, the oil fill, feeder. I know I burned it a little bit, but it's still gonna work. Um, I had to use the the old old um, gear selector from the original transmission, the old one, because it doesn't, it won't fit. So I had to port that hole in there, make it bigger. So there it is. The only left thing got to do is this. Put that cover in there. And there you go. So now the last thing to do is to uh, check it on the car. I don't know where, when I'm, I'll be able to do it. So stay tuned guys for the video for the final test.